All right, guys, I'm going to do a video on the new ABL uh, 1000. It should be the same steps for the 1500 as well. It's the new rangefinder from ATN that couples with the Thor 4s, the 4Ks, and the Excite 2s, both the 3x14s and the 5x20s. When you open the box, you're going to see you're going to have a few Allens. You're going to have three adapters. One will say Thor 4 series. One will say the Excite 2 5 to 20 and the other one will say the Excite 2 to 3 to 14. I'm doing this on a Thor, so I'm gonna use the Thor ring. Uh, the manual uh, is extremely wrong on what to do, so I'm trying to do this just to save guys a bunch of hassle when they get their new uh, rangefinder and they're super excited, and then they just wanna break it. So uh, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out these two, uh, there's two Allens right here, and that's the only thing the manual got right. Uh, so I've already loosened them. Um, so I'm just going to take those out. All right. This will be a little bit of a lengthy video, but those of you that have bought this product will appreciate that, I think. Um, so you're going to, once you take those two Allens, this just opens up and it slides off of, sometimes it slides off of this sleeve right here. Um, so what you do is you're going to take this sleeve, and I'm doing a Thor 4, so you take the sleeve and you will screw your adapter for your scope. If you're doing the 4K series, you don't need the adapter. As far as I understand, this will this, this sleeve here will just screw right in here. Um, so you screw this on until it's good and tight, and then you take this part, and you're going to try not to strip your... Uh, Scope out my big fat shaky hands. I gotta find it to the groove hits. There we go. And you just tighten that sucker down. All right, so you got that tight. The next thing you do is you're gonna slide the rangefinder up over the scope. And as you can see, I don't got a lot of clearance between my rail and my scope, so you, it, it really doesn't take up any uh, extra. So you're gonna take this back to where it goes and it you'll know you have it in the right spot if you can bring that in here when it actually clamps about like that. Like if you have it out a little far, it'll have that much gap. But once you get it kind of clicked in, it'll uh, it'll clamp you know fairly tight. So now we can put these two Allens back in. If I can get them started. They did not account for guys with fat squatty hands. All right, and then we'll, uh, we take our Allen, you can tighten those the rest of the way down. And I mean, you want to kind of get it level. I don't know that it matters extremely a bunch if it's like exactly level or anything, because you're actually going to move it. Once you get it all paired, you got to move your reticle inside the scope anyway. Not the reticle, but you'll. I'm going to try to show it on video, but it's, it's pretty hard. I might end up just taking some screenshots if I need to. But all right, so you get that kind of screwed on where it's, you know, fairly level then, and I get those good and tight. You know, you don't want that coming loose in the field. Get those good and tight. The next thing, the next thing you're gonna do, one, you, you can already turn your scope on, um, which if you've got a scope, you already know how to do that. I hope that could be another video. But the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put this battery in. Now the manual tells you to put the battery in with the nipple facing out. That is inaccurate. Uh, you're going to put the battery, and you want to make sure there's there's a plastic film on your battery. I'm going to say it. I know some people are like, well, that was a stupid, but I'm saying it because I actually put it in with a plastic on, so <laughs> I couldn't get it to pair up. But So you need to take the little plastic film off, and you put the battery in with the nipple facing in, and you're just going to screw this on. I screw it on finger tight. It works fine, and the reason I do that is because if you already change the battery while you're hunting, it's going to be very nice to not need a Phillips head or a quarter or something like that. You can just get it on in your finger tight. It'll suffice. Um, at this point, you can go ahead and flip this to the on position. So it'll look like that. And then you're gonna look through your scope, and I'm just gonna tell you what, what to do, because you really can't see through the scope. But you're gonna um, hit your uh, okay button on the top, and then you're gonna hit the icon that looks like a wrench. Uh, scroll over to you see the icon that looks like a wrench, and hit okay again. And then you go over to settings, and you're going to scroll down to where it says ABL 
and then you hit pair and you're going to see a little white circle going around the Bluetooth in the top corner. All right. Um, make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on in your scope if you don't have that already done already. But um, then the next thing you do is there's a little button right here. Double click that. Just do it twice and you're going to see a blue. It's going to it's going to be the Bluetooth with a uh, blue circle all the way around it. And it should go solid and stay solid, which means you're paired. Um, the manual tells you to hold that button down and do a bunch of other things. And none of that was true. I was really frustrated. All you got to do is just double click that. And like I said, you'll know when it's paired because one, it'll say paired where you clicked on the ABL. And it'll also have, like I said, it'll be the Bluetooth symbol with a big blue circle around it. Um, it'll be basically an inverted Bluetooth. Uh, so the next thing you do to sight it in is you grab your other, the, the next Allen down. And you're going to come, I'll let you come over here on the front of the scope here. See if you can, is it focusing? Mm -hmm. Like it's bright enough? All right, so there's an Allen right in the center. You're going to take that Allen out. Make sure you don't lose it. So do it where it can't fall on a crack or something like that. Once you get that out, you're, it's going to be, you know, kind of open. That's where your laser, and I'm going to show you in a minute, it's going to shoot against the wall. So then at this point, you come back to your your scope, you look through it, and you're going to go over to, from the, you should still have the settings up. You actually need to go over to profiles and zero, and then you go down to where it says zeroing ABL. Okay. And now if you can scroll, if you can look over there with the video, there's a laser on the wall. I think you can see that right underneath the picture of my daughter. Yeah. All right. Now you can go away from that and come back to here. All right. So what you're going to be looking at is it's got like four lines that are pointing in the middle and you need to have that reticle on something that you can see. Let me see if I can. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on, you know, whatever your target is, and you can do this at the range, or I did it in my basement where I could just see something hot. And I, you lock your scope to where you're, uh, you know, you're aiming at. Let me see if I can find something that's hot over there. All right, I got it. All right, so once you get the scope and you've got your reticle set, um, then you're going to just move with the left and right buttons up here. Go ahead and come up here real quick. Um, the left and right buttons, you move that reticle to where that dot is hidden. Um, and you can use the wheel to go up and down. These go left and right. The wheel goes up and down. Once you get it uh, where you want it, and it's it's dead, you know, it's it, you're putting that. You want to put that laser between the four marks, and you'll know when you're looking through the scope what I'm talking about. You just hit OK, and you're all done. And you can start ranging stuff. Um, hopefully this helps you guys. I'm gonna write some instructions down too for guys that need it written down. Um, but this helped me a lot. Uh, it only takes. I mean, you see, it took less than five minutes. Uh, Hope it helps, guys. Uh, go over to thermooptics.plus.com. Uh, get all your stuff from Cameron Gonders, and he'll get you set up. Talk to you later.